Kwa mga jongo manaka kawa wacho pile, eh, nganyo kiti moto ganda ki keth muandu, mano achiel kumrawere mabende jiwo yoetegi, mwano ki keth muandu siga mabende koro ganda nganyo. Wadhimbe, le governor Mami Gori Jones, uh, Manairobi, Johnson Sakaja, nitiere committee mar senate, mabende hands committee ma osiru mesechegi, negi tuwa keweche mago meenda kama nondu wako penje mwote nrekod gopi mag bad migao machon mar NMS. Wawi njegi madhimbe le kabende sani otu wako jofu ambu express themselves loudly. The freedom to express themselves is something that I've said repeatedly. I said two weeks ago when I was in uh, Kiumbuini, groundbreaking for the new stadium, that that is a sacrosanct right that needs to be protected, you know, and uh, we should not uh, suppress it at all. Um, we should allow people to express themselves. Unfortunately, a lot of those uh, were infiltrated, you know, by goons. They burnt city hall, um, they burnt parliament, uh, they... They went into installations that they should not have gone to. And you could see a clear distinction between uh, the Gen Z who are really expressing um, you know, their, 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 their opinions on uh, matters of governance vis-a-vis -vis those who are mugging people and robbing people. Um, I saw a, a clip um, on Tuesday of uh, alleged goons coming out of City Hall, which I asked that to be investigated. I myself was in the coast. We've been there for the whole week with our cabinet. Um, uh, just doing our end, end of year you know, retreat and replanning for this new financial year. The financial year ends in June and uh, I would hate it that uh, something like that would have been planned uh, from City Hall, from wherever it is. Um, you know, normally when you're in such a situation the first casualty is the truth. And when the first casualty is the truth opportunistic uh, politicians even try to bring themselves into such you know, a move to, to taint uh, their opponents, you know. And so if somebody would, would, would try to claim that I, the governor, was meeting people um, to plan violence in City Hall, while one, I was in Diani, uh, number one, <laughs> with, with my cabinet, from Sunday. I've just come back this morning. Um, and number two, I have always believed in Siasa Safi. I've always believed in that freedom um, of, of expression, even when it is not within my political you know, side of the equation. You remember uh, a few years ago I released or rather, I sought the release of an opposition politician who was incarcerated, and uh, that was because he had insulted the president, you know, because I believe people should, should express uh, themselves. And so, and, 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 and anyone, you know, would, would, would try to make it look like it's you by doing it from city hall, you know. If you were to do such a thing, you would not do it in plain sight, you know, and from where you work, you know, you would not do it that way. And so I really condemn that. I, I, I condemn those who hurt other young people, those who destroyed businesses, we have buildings that burnt um, in, in the city. Mm -hmm. um, at some point, these people were preventing our fire engines from coming out of the, the fire station uh, uh, on Tomboya uh, Street. And that is why some of you know, those buildings really went down. And I, and I want to thank uh, the young people because you have seen, you know, you saw the Senate yesterday. We saw the stance that now leaders are taking, that it has created an opportunity for deep reflection and action by government. I was very happy to see people refusing vehemently salary increments. You know, that has never happened in the Republic of Kenya. And really, we, we, we need to be, to be prudent in, in, in our use of uh, these resources because the leadership is a trust from the people on their behalf. All right, so, uh, Governor, <coughs> two questions from me. One of them is uh, the extent of the damage at yeah. City Hall and how much that is going to cost the county to repair. And also, what is the county going to do to help those businesses that were looted during this protest? Um, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Um, the damage uh, at, uh, at, at City Hall, our insurance provider is assessing uh, the extent of that damage. Fortunately, we have insured all our properties. You saw that they also burnt down our mobile recording studio. You know, there's a 40-foot mobile recording studio that was at uh, Rupak, costing, I think, around 60-something million shillings that you know, goes around and uh, to the different sub-counties. It was uh, burnt down. It was also insured, fortunately, so there's no additional cost um, on, on us as a county or on taxpayers. Um, the damage to businesses, you know, it becomes very difficult to, to quantify uh, because they also have their arrangements. We'd love to support, and, and I'm sure you saw, even during this uh, protest, so we had our ambulances um, all across the city, our medics. I waived all the fees at uh, our public hospitals, that is Mbagathi, Mamalusi, Pumwani, 
um, Mutuini and all, all the facilities of the county. We've gotten those reports from our CEOs, not because we are supporting protests, but because we acknowledge the, the right of expression that is sacrosanct in our constitution. Um, it is true, uh, I have received a request for a concert, uh, a peace concert, um, um, to be done at Uhuru Park. I see no problem with it. Um, because if it is that genuine expression, it is good. You know, first of all, Uhuru Park belongs to Kenyans and Nairobians. It doesn't belong to me. I am just a steward uh, over that resource. Um, I know it is currently an active crime scene. I hope the DCI will conclude. Uh, it is very fortunate that uh, we have CCTV footage um, from City Hall of those who came and burnt it down. I've seen frivolous accusations, you know, but those who are caught on camera, you know, so one of them works in an MP's office in Nairobi. One of them works in an MP's office. They'll have to answer. The MP who sent them or the politicians who sent them will actually have to answer for that damage to public property. You know, it is not... Fortunately, again, you know, the, the fire didn't damage a lot of, uh, you know, records because we're digital. Um, our county, everything is digital. Payments are digital. Uh, we store it in the cloud and in our servers. But just that act of a symbol of authority that belongs to the people of Nairobi uh, being attacked in that manner was completely um, unfortunate and, and it was wrong. Um, and so we will still support uh, that expression. That concert is in honor of uh, young people who we lost. Um, people who died, uh, it is good to, to honor them and their families and uh, really see what support we can give to them. Um, personally, I will attend, um, you know, because these are my constituents. These are residents of Nairobi.